In this video, we're going to look at getting some summaries from R in order to help us connect the two sample t test and linear regression. So what we'll do is, in this video, we're going to do a two sample t test and get the output for that. Then we're going to fit a simple linear regression to the exact same data and get the output for that. And then we'll take that output to a separate video where I'm going to take the results of the two, compare and contrast the two, and build some connections between the two sample t test as well as simple linear regression. So in order to do so, I'm just going to get some summaries here first. First, I'm going to ask R to get for me the mean FEV only for the non-smokers, right, of those whose smoking value is zero. And we can see it's roughly 2.57. Then I'm going to ask R to calculate the mean FEV for those whose smoking is one, or those who smoke. Okay, and I'm going to take the difference between those two, the mean FEV of smokers minus the mean FEV of non-smokers, or that 3.27 minus 2.56 we see it's 0.71. And a quick reminder, the order that you subtract those in is important. If we do the mean of non-smokers minus the mean of smokers, we get negative 0.71. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the two sample t-test. And in this, I'm going to assume equal variance. So I'm going to assume the variance in FEV of the smokers and the non-smokers is roughly the same. And I'm doing this so that it's making equivalent assumptions to linear regression, where we assume constant variance or ANOVA, where again we assume equal variance for all the groups. So to do so, I'm going to use the t.test command, comparing the mean FEV for smokers and non-smokers. And we can see that output here. Right? We can see the test statistic is negative 6.46, and we can see the p-value 1.99. We can see the confidence interval, the 95% confidence interval for the difference in means of the two groups, as well as the mean of each group reported. Now what I'm going to do is fit a linear regression model. So here I'm going to fit a model, I'm going to save it in SLR, and I'm going to fit a linear model that uses the smoking variable to try and estimate the FEV. So let's fit that model. Let's ask for a summary of the regression model. We can see the summary here. Again, we're going to take note of the intercept of roughly 2.57, the smoking coefficient of 0.71. Hopefully those values look familiar to you. We're going to build a connection in a separate video. The p-value, for the smoking coefficient of 1.99. Now let's have R calculate the confidence interval for the coefficients, so for the slope and the intercept. You can see that there, the confidence interval of 0.494 up to 0.926. Again, this is for the smoking coefficient. And just to make the results a bit neater, I'm going to bind together the coefficients and the confidence interval, and I'm going to add a label of estimate on top of that first column there. So what we're going to do is take back some of these results that we've got from fitting the simple linear regression and from the two sample t-test, and we're going to build some connections between these two.